Hey guys, I got a Whirlpool basic top load washing machine here and I want to show you how to put it into diagnostic mode and the basic troubleshooting operation of this machine. For the past 10 to 12 years, Whirlpool's made this type of washing machine with this interface here. And if you have a machine with this type of interface, it has a basic diagnostic procedure which will tell you either what is exactly wrong with the machine or almost exactly wrong with the machine. It's kind of easy to get into once you know how to do it, but until you figure it out, it's just about impossible. Uh, the other thing with this type of machine is that the error codes are almost hieroglyphics. They don't make a whole lot of sense until you understand them, and I have not seen any YouTube videos actually showing you how to read the freaking codes. So that's what this video is going to be about, is how to throw it into diagnostics as well as read the codes. Now, you're going to notice up here that this is an Admiral washer, but that doesn't matter. It's really a Whirlpool brand washer. It's just another name. This uh, procedure works for Whirlpool, Amana, Admiral, Roper, older Kenmores that are about three years or more old. It also works for Maytags, and there may even be another brand or two that I don't even know of that it works for. But basically, as long as it has these oval style interfaces to them, or the oval style uh, display, it's going to work. GE has their own type, which is totally different, but it, those tend to be more like five or six dots. So let's get started here. Now, when it comes to throwing this type of machine in diagnostics, there's one or two ways that you can force it into the diagnostic mode. Whirlpools and Maytags, I believe, have one way of rotating the dial, and then the Admirals and Amanas are slightly different, but the overall pattern is very, very similar. The first thing you want to do is make sure that your washing machine is plugged in, and you do not have any cycles or modes selected on this. If you have any sort of collar on these displays down here, you want to reset the machine. And to do that, you're going to spin the knob counterclockwise 360 degrees to reset it. And then you're going to begin your sequence. On Whirlpools, you will go to the right three times, three clicks, one, two, three, back one, and then forward one. On Admirals and Amanas, you go to the left or counterclockwise once, and then right three times, one, two, three, back one, and then forward one. So some simply go three times to the right, others are left, right, right, left, right. So just so you know. So here's me trying to attempt this. You aren't always going to get it on the first try because sometimes you need to do it pretty fast, other times you need half a second in between each selection. And there we go on our very first try. These lights mean that you are in the diagnostic and troubleshooting mode. So, so far, so good. Again, we went to the left once, one, two, three to the right, left once, and then right once to delicate. After this, what we're going to do is turn it to the right once. You're going to get cycle complete. And then once you hit the button, it's going to actually start showing you what error codes you have on this washer. If you go counter, or not counter, but clockwise one more time, this final spin mode is actually going to be your diagnostic mode to run the machine through all the different components to make sure that your machine's actually working right. For now, though, we're going to rotate it counterclockwise once, go back to this cycle complete, and then we're going to tap the start button just briefly, and it's going to show you the diagnostic codes. There we go. So this means it is now in trouble shooting mode and you're going to turn it clockwise one more time and you're going to start getting your codes. Now the catch with this washer is I don't have a lot of codes right now but I can show you how this is going to work. To decipher the error codes on a Whirlpool washer there are two sets of codes with the first one always starting with a green light on the fill indicator indicating the letter F. The next four lights indicate the numbers that need to be added together to get the number code associated with the error on the washing machine. 
In this example, adding all the lights displayed together yields an F7 code. If the fill light is not illuminated, then the letter code is always E. Add up the numbers again to get the second part of the error code. Combine the two codes together, always starting with the F code, you will yield the F7E5 error code. This code indicates a shift mode failure or something related to the shifter itself. Do understand that the diagnostic system doesn't guarantee perfect accuracy, but it will give you a good idea on what parts you need to investigate for the failure. Here is a list of current codes on Whirlpool style belt driven washers. Please understand that this list may not be conclusive and is only for belt driven washers. However, I've seen that the codes are very similar on newer top load units without belts such as Whirlpool Cabrios or Maytag Bravos direct driver washers. But always make sure to consult your manual to confirm this if possible. Once you have gone through all the codes that have been displayed on this unit and you have returned to the five flashing buttons, press and hold start and it will delete all the error codes from its saved system. And then this way, if you have a persistent issue that you are trying to troubleshoot, when you run the washer the next time, the codes will begin to populate again. So we're going to press and hold on this for just a few seconds. And there we go. Hey guys, thanks for watching this video on how to diagnose a top load washing machine from Whirlpool or Amana or any of their other sub brands. If you like the content, make sure to follow us. Uh, if you couldn't figure out your machine and want to get rid of it, uh, go ahead and watch some of our other videos where we start taking apart these machines for fun and profit. Otherwise, have a great day. Enjoy your hopefully working washing machine.